Well, how do there, chums, does I, Captain of the Station. Today, chums, I just want to go over this. No Man's Sky update. Now, you can see as I'm hovering over it, it says No Man's Sky Interceptor. And as we all know, the actual name of the expedition is Singularity. If I hit on this and hit Check for Update, it says here I'm on the latest version of the game. When I go into the game and try and hit on up the expedition, I can he run the expedition. It won't let me run it. But yeah, let's just jump on over and I'll show you exactly what's happening right now. And I imagine this is happening for a lot of other people that are on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, maybe even Xbox and um, Nintendo Switch. Despite uh, Sean Murray saying that the update was going to be on all platforms at the same time, if I go and hit on up new game, you can see here I cannot run the Community Expedition. But you may have seen other content creators out there are able to run the Expedition on PC and Mac, so they seem to be able to do it right now. So anyway, let's, um, let's uh, just uh, get rid of the old PlayStation screen just for a moment and bring it in on my laptop screen here because there is some new hot fixes that have just come out for the singularity and uh, yeah this is over on steam right now but it will be coming to other platforms <laughs> okay when you scroll on down on sean murray's feed though you can see that it, it technically should be out on all other platforms right now i mean when you get past there you can see here now uh, where is it nintendo life Nintendo Life No Man's Sky Singularity Update adds new story, character customization, and more. And that's on the Nintendo Store, so it should be on Nintendo. Sean Murray sounds off with a little party streamer. Lovely. You come back down here, Xbox Wire again, the free Singularity Expedition today. Yep, it says today, and that was, you know, 20 hours ago. That was yesterday. Scrolling down, you've got PlayStation chiming in and saying exactly the same on the old PlayStation that, yes, it's going to be the 10th expedition. And, yeah, away you go with it, you know, but it's it's not there. Yeah, it's not there. When you jump on over to the actual patch itself, there's only one fix inside of here, which is little odd. You would have thought that it would have gone out onto all platforms and then we could all be sending in our bug reports and then hopefully patch 3.0. Zero one or whatever this is, will it contain all of those fixes? Fixes for PlayStation VR two, fixes for Switch, fix if it even runs on Switch, <laughs> PlayStation, Xbox. And that's not the case. So it seems to be maybe they've done this on purpose. Maybe they put it out onto Mac and PC first, being that Mac is a new platform as well. Give them something to jump in and and have that other people don't. But also then they can put out the bug fixes for PC and Mac, and then hopefully when it comes to console whenever it comes to console we can submit our bug fixes and then hopefully they can do those separately i don't know i don't know how they're going about doing this anymore with so many different platforms that they've got maybe it's a different way of working now i have hit on up their community lead and i've asked them directly what's going on why it's not there i can see that they've seen my actual um, message but they haven't actually replied it's very rare that they do but I can try. I can only but try, people. That's all I can do. And at the moment, I'm in as much dark as you guys are. I'm speculating on this one. Now, whenever Hello Games puts out an update, like the Fractal update, you can see here all the platforms that it's going to be on. Okay, Scrolling up, you can see that's the same with all the patches, and sometimes they just have PC-related patches. This is the run-of-the-mill type thing that we see all the time. Now, when you get up a little bit further, and you get to this latest one, though. So here we go and here we go expedition 10 singularity just pc and mac just pc and mac people it doesn't have all the other badges so i don't know whether this this might just be for pc and mac it might not even come to console despite all that fanfare from all the different platforms saying yes it's coming out today over on hello games website it's 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 a different story it's a different story so it's conflicting i don't know whether it's coming to the console i can only but hope that it is but this could be where there could be that separation. You know, it might have to happen at some point, might not it? That, um, you know, PC, Mac uh, are the only platforms that can support this sort of stuff. And I mean, at the moment, you know, you stick on a cape on, on console, including the PlayStation 5, and you drop frame rates. So who freaking knows? And with the amount of bugs and the game falling apart on Switch, have they dropped support for it? It's, it's hard to say because we haven't had the communications out there, people. I'm going to say not. I'm going to stay very positive this and say not. I have seen other content creators put it out there that perhaps this is where the separation is. So I've just thrown it out there as an idea. I don't think that idea is even on the table. I honestly do think it is going to be coming to all platforms, 
in the very near future. Um, I would even say later today. I mean, it's Thursday right now. It's the 8th. I'm imagining by about, what, 3 p.m. today, we should see it on all other platforms. I'm hoping that it's just that Hello Games hasn't flicked a switch or pressed a couple of buttons or got it through certification for one of the consoles. And because one of the consoles is held up, maybe they're going to hold it out on all consoles to make it feel fairer across all of them. I mean, this update does contain a narrative. It does have an ARG element inside of there. And you know they've already said that they don't want to spoil it for people inside of their patch notes. But technically, putting it out there so PC can stream it first, I mean, I've had to be so careful in what I watch out there on the Tinterwebs. And I have already seen a couple of spoilers, or I've actually had DMs from people saying, oh, what do you think of this, Captain Steve? I know you love the lore, but look at this screenshot. And I've already seen it. And I'm like, oh, fudge on my days. And there's been so much that I've seen already that's kind of already spoilt a lot of it for me so you know although inside of the patch notes they said that they wanted to keep it as a surprise putting it out on one or two platforms and not on all platforms you've gone and done the opposite to what you're hoping to achieve from inside of your patch notes in not wanting to give away too much because you have given away too much basically hello games on this one and um yeah it's it's it, it's kind of a little disheartening but at the same time um myself and uh Kurt, the maker of the No Man's Sky system tap, we're going to be going live later this evening and we're going to be doing the 1616 podcast. Now, over on Kurt's Discord and other Discords, there's a lot of data mining going on inside of the files and they've found a lot of the ARG elements. Some of these layered elements that um, Hello Games say are going to be unraveled in this four part sort of ARG jaunt across the universe that should come to together with some sort of giant decision for the actual community to make so we're going to be doing that anyway the 1616 podcast is going to be happening at 8 p.m uk uk time and we're going to be diving into all the data mining stuff so yeah there will be spoilers inside of that um that podcast but there's already spoilers out on the internet anyway if you jump on reddit you jump on youtube you go anywhere on social media right now no man sky driven you are going to see the odd thing that may spoil things for you. But yeah, if you do want to jump on in, if you've got anything you, you want to bring over to the 1616 podcast, things that you thought we need to be aware of, then by all means do so, because it'd be great to have you on over there. So at the moment, as you can see, I haven't got the update for the PlayStation 5. I will be trying my best to let you know as soon as it hits the PlayStation 5. I'm going to be refreshing my PlayStation 5 every every hour or so and having a quick look to see if the update's there as soon as it's there i'll be sure to hit on up on my community tab over on youtube or put something out there on twitter to let you know that i'm downloading and installing it and uh yeah just so, so keep tuned keep tuned keep plugged in to no man's sky twitter uh, my twitter feed <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah there we go people anyway until next time that's pretty much all i've got for you gonna be jumping back and having my cup of tea people inside of the viewers and uh yeah that's my day pretty much hit and refresh constantly <laughs> but yeah hopefully i'll be able to jump on in and start bringing out guides and things to this expedition and um yeah there's also already some good guides going up on pc so yeah until then people goodbye goodbye and goodbye again